Hey guys, this is Donnie from the Cleveland Corn Beef uh, Truck. I'm out here at what this place called? Phoenix Food Truck Builders. Phoenix Food Truck Builders. A guy named Mike. Tony. Oh, Tony. And um, I got a freezer from him. And you guys know me in his business, Lisa and I. Anyway, I got a freezer from him. And I, you know, we all know that we're in a very precarious situation and money is tight. So we have purchased a large sum of corned beef just to get in front of this thing. Excuse me, my lips are a little dry. <coughs> and we had to go out of town and do some things in Sholo. So he assured me, hey, this will work. Get as much corned beef as you need. Get in front of this, you'll save money. You know, selling it. You know, I, you know, that's our job is to sell product and push revenue, which I understand. But I let him know, hey, this has to work. I need this freezer to be really on top of things. He assured me that that would happen. So anyway, to make a long story short, it was 42 uh, degrees, and this is a freezer. Paid him a thousand bucks, and he also did his work on there on my food truck, which he did a pretty decent job on the deep fryer, but I knew that he was gonna get me with this freezer, something inside of me, you know, knew that, call it intuition or discernment, but I knew that. Plus the guy's reputation is erroneous in the food truck industry. So I'm here at his place, he started cussing, he wanted to pro provoke a fight, and he started saying, you people, and it's, now he assured me that he'd give me my money back, because a freezer, we all know, it needs to get minus three. This thing got to 42. And I had to buy other, or make other arrangements to get the food accommodated. So with that being said, I'm here now. There's Lisa. We're at this guy's place. He immediately started cussing to provoke a fight to, and then, and I said, well, let's, let's get the police here. You know, I know you're not gonna get my money back. I knew you weren't, because this is a pandemic and people who, are, excuse me, my lips are so dry, I need to start drinking more water. People who are very anxious to come on top and step on anybody on the way, especially in a situation like we're in, uh, the climate that the world is in right now, it's predictable. You know, we have to we have to move in excellence, even when the chips are down, because karma is a mean son of a gun, and it'll come back on you. So with that being said, I'm just patiently waiting for the police to come just to get documentation, you know, that I was here. He's telling me now to keep it, you know what I mean? Um, it never worked, we both, he knew it was a piece of junk, but I went on the reputation. Well, not on, not on his reputation, because if I had went on his reputation, I would be sitting here. But I went on the assumption he was closer to my house. I should have took it to Ernie like I, like I always do, but we had to get out of town and I needed refrigeration really bad, so. Of course, he, Ernie from Prime Design. Anyway, so we're sitting right here now, and you know, he's doing the old one, two, LeBron James sidestep on me, which is fine. He needs the thousand dollars, obviously. So you know, God bless him, maybe. And then his wife comes out, and he's calling me MFers and all of that. I didn't say one cuss word to this guy, but I knew, and I told Lisa, I couldn't sleep last night. Let's get here first thing in the morning get this on the truck, and then I bet you this guy is not gonna try to give us our money back. And sure enough, he did that. So I'm putting this, so I said, well, he was like, I'll throw you off the property. And I said, well, I'm just waiting to, for the police officers just to get some type of documentation I was here so I can move forward, you know, in, in a legal capacity, because I'm not gonna fight you, little man, because that's what he wanted, because that's what they think about us that we're incapable of doing anything intelligent, only just to store our hands up. But the reality is I've been on this earth a long time. I got a lot of parking miles. I know how to avoid situations like that. And social media is a monster. You guys know that Lisa and I, we move in excellence and we have a lot of integrity and we have a lot of friends out there. And since we do have social media, this device that can make you or break you, my goal isn't to break him, but it's just to let everyone know everything they say bad about this guy is true. 
And then his wife, she knew that it wasn't right, but he's the leader. So I guess in him leading, she followed suit even though it was wrong, which does not show or exhibit much integrity. So we're just waiting and um, for the police to come. So he just walked out saying he's gonna give us a receipt showing we pay or whatever. You know, so we're still waiting out here, so you know, please come. We'll see what that happens, you know, but I'm gonna get a victory today. The victory is that I didn't get up and smash this little dude. You know what I mean? So, you people. All right, we'll come on back on. So I'm, I, my plan is to just post this so you guys can see it.